Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> How we doing? Happy Sunday. Hope the EV's working. Ah, just finished up my coffee. Need to have a quick overview of the finances and see what's going on here. Good morning, PC Tech. Uh, how's Doyle, Benji T? He seems to be a lot better today, I'm, I'm happy to say. He was definitely feeling sorry for himself last night, and I was worried that he had something a bit more... Um, a bit more of a permanent issue. Maybe he'd injured himself, but... I'm guessing... I'm guessing he just went over on his ankle or something. No, I'm all right. I better not have too much coffee, deep storm. <laughs> um, yeah, I was a bit concerned because he wouldn't like he was just holding his paw like that. He would not put it down. And after a couple of hours, he started sort of tentatively putting on it. So it obviously just injured himself. Thank you, Big Ogles. Um, but he seems to be all right Can this morning. He's in good spirits. So good yeah. Good morning, Mr. Squirrel. Good morning, deep storm. <laughs> Sorry, Valesia sent the coffee thing in. I got mixed up. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I was genuinely, confu you know, kind of concerned that it wasn't going to be right today. We'd have to take him to the vet tomorrow, that kind of thing. But he seems to be uh, all right. But Mrs. Squirrel, being Mrs. Squirrel, she does, you know, every time something like this happens, she's like, oh, he's getting older, you know. What, what if this is the start of, like, and I'm like, can you just not talk like that? <laughs> You know, people twist their ankle, things like that. Dogs do it too, <laughs> especially when they get older. Trying to stay positive, and thankfully he's, uh, he's, he seems to be okay. So, yeah. Anyway, we had to... He, he wouldn't walk. Like, I went there last night and uh, drove over in the car, and Mrs. Squirrel was, like, just holding Doyle because he wouldn't stand on the ground. So we put him in the car, brought him home, tried to examine him he tried to bite her when we tried to touch her so he was obviously in a lot of pain um but couldn't see anything so just sat with him for like an hour and a half <clears throat> rested him as i got up to leave the room he was like well where are you going <laughs> so he gets it gets a bit clingy like that when he's um not feeling well it gets really clingy um but yeah he seems all right today Uh, Joseph, thank you for 15 months, by the way. Won't be around for long, you just have to go to work. No problem, no. Uh, Connor, Connor Sedman, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome. Oh, I don't know about that, Cusco. Don't know about that, mate. That doesn't sound good if that happened. Right, what's the finances doing? Let's see. I said, kind of general overview of the finances. Uh, ooh, that's not. Okay. That's a lot of expense. Morning, Mr. Squirrel. Glad the Lord is looking better this morning. Thank you, big lad. Yeah, seems to be doing okay. We'll see how he is later. That's not a huge amount of profit. Montana Conmat, minus 38 million. Is that because we just upgraded everything? Hmm. Too many trucks, maybe? Like, it was doing very well financially until I think upgraded everything, and now it seems to be running at a loss. That's not good. Let's have a look what's going on. Oh, yeah, I think we've just got too many vehicles. Too many vehicles, not enough stuff going on. Either that, we'll just bring more stuff in. Maybe just move some vehicles from here to here. Yeah, there's only 68% being taken. Let's reassign some vehicles out of here. Uh, that's the best way of doing this. Vehicle manager. Let's 
do that. Uh, Pixel Hunter, thank you for 44 months. Hey, hey. Good morning, Sir Paul the First. <laughs> Sincere apologies if yesterday I sounded a bit forceful with throwing all that power rating information at your face. Was a bit worried I sounded like a nuisance. Glad Doyle is okay. Squirrel love. No, Ivan, I didn't take any offense from any of that conversation, so don't worry. Nothing on my part, mate. So, funnily enough, the biggest earner is Independence Oil and Gas at 10 million. Our crude is not making that much money right now. Which, you know, actually, it's probably just in between. Oh, it looks like it makes a lot of money every other year. <laughs> just the way shipping works. Uh, you just removed trucks from the line you wanted to put a truck on. No, I didn't. I don't think it did. Virginia Con, Matt. No, I took vehicles off this. Didn't I? Oh, maybe I removed them off. No, 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 I know what I did. Okay, I know what I did. I got mixed up between Virginia. One, two, three, four. We put them on Virginia. And take some more of these. There's far too many vehicles here. There's some more of these on the stone. Yeah, I know where I did. I, I basically moved them from this line to this line. That's what I did. Mark Sterling, thank you for 55 months. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, we have a great community of mods here. Is that going to level up, do we wonder? Hmm. Okay, maybe that rebalance will help. Right, so, um, can we milk any more money out of this line? That's the question. What the? The Zurich boat, the 442 Hiawatha, a dump truck, a new coach that does 150. Look at the speed on that. That's a passenger express. Guessing, yeah, this is already flatlined, so there's nothing to be had out of here. He's loading up nicely. Hello. Interesting. That worked perfectly. That worked really well. <laughs> uh, would you say it's a large step up from Transport 51? No, not a large step up, but a... I wouldn't, put it this way, I wouldn't play Transport Fever 1 anymore. I wouldn't, because I know it has issues. Like, it has issues with the industries and the way it manages resources and lines. I wouldn't play it. I'd, I'd play this. If you ever hit those problems in 1, chances are they're fixed in 2. First time on Twitch ever. Uh, Scruffy Denmark, welcome, dude. I don't know if you feel the same, it's a bit annoying that Transport Fever 2 uses real-life acceleration of trains, but one-to-one, -one very large max speed. Yeah, I, I think there's some scaling issues, for sure. Um, I know what you mean. I, I know what you mean, but it, I don't let it annoy me. It's a game. I get more annoyed in Transport Fever 1, for example, by the way that industry resets. Like, if you manipulate the line, it'll just reset the industry. That is deeply annoying. <clears throat> where do you get this game from it's on steam i believe it's on sale well somebody said it was on sale on humble bundle and green man gaming um what's it gonna do i'm trying to work out whether it's worth getting this oil well and jumping a train directly from here 
to the refinery and supplement more crude into here because the ratio of this is two to one and at the moment the three trains running this track are the entire carriers of crude if that makes sense so if they get like 10 units of crude from here that only then produces five units of oil and five units of gas so if we have a train or maybe two trains running crude direct it'll create a surplus of oil here and then those three trains will then be able to fill their tanks is what i'm thinking because at the moment when they fill up you see they're only half full they only ever be half full they'll never be full because of that two to one ratio alternatively we can run crude from here on a single train actually that might be a better option i think i'll do that We'll, we'll create an extra platform and just run crude on a single train. That will work really well. Seems to be okay, Dave. I, I don't use CD keys, Epic, and I never promote CD keys. Uh, Mr. Cat Weasel, thank you for 72 months. Humble Bundle and Green Man Gaming, they're, they're safe. <clears throat> Can it be compared to Skylines? No. Different game. That distance you could truck it. Uh, I guess you probably could. Would you want to truck that though? Where's the um, nearest depot? What size vehicles can we get? Uh, tanker truck, 14 capacity. Actually, we're at the point now where we've got a reasonable capacity. But 14 of them we need like 84 every time a train comes in and we need double that we need 84 units of oil which means we need 170 units of crude that's a lot of trucks <laughs> it's on sale at green man but not humble okay uh cd keys is a key key reseller epic Anybody can buy and sell keys on it. They don't come direct from developers and publishers. Like somebody in Uzbekistan can buy a key and then sell it on CD keys, right? So they can buy it for like $4 and then sell it on CD keys for 15 Because that's what marketplaces allow. So then the developer and publisher don't get a reasonable cut because they just sold it for $4 to somebody in America who bought it for 15 That's how That's how it works. They sell things at different prices around the world, which is exactly what Twitch is now doing with um, with re with subs. They're giving local pricing. Now, G2A does it as well, Sherlock. <clears throat> They're not the only ones. There's a few of them. There's another one called MMORPG, something like that. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we need a cargo platform. What the? Hang on a minute. That's not right. That's right now. Nice. Uh, thank you, Epic. Okay, let's get a... I was going to put a terminal in there, but now I'm thinking, why not have a pass-through platform with the view of having a passenger platform here at some point that we could run passenger runs back that way to Independence? That might be an idea. Will you ever play more Mice in a car? <laughs> uh, yes. I don't know when. I don't know about instant gaming. No idea. Where's the residential there is? Okay, they're all there. Oh, that's fine. I'm trying to be careful. I don't... We don't box ourselves in. <clears throat> I 
let's go for a <coughs> excuse me let's go for a passenger station with two tracks 240 meters let's go over here and we'll punt it in that direction there Then we'll have a cargo station here. It's going to be careful of topology here. Um, should do it uh freheims thank you for 40 months mr cat weasel thank you for 72 so we're going to bring that end track into here and then those other two could run into these two that's the thinking those two are bypassing through there they never stop all right let's get the What would that look like if we just went straight there? 835,000. I don't think I want to pay that. Might have to have some elevation going on. As long as it's running downhill when it's got the load, it'll be fine. There you go, got it for half the price. Now link to that. Um, we have we have a depot here, but trains from that depot can't get onto that track. It could come into here. We could create a switch line there, I guess. I don't know if the game's smart enough, though. If we spawn a train here and say, go there. I, actually, no, it might work. I know it gets confused, though. If we tell it to go to a specific platform here, then when it moves that way, we have to tell it to come back and use that platform. I think if you do it that way, because otherwise it can't figure the route out. MK Dons, thank you for 57. Anyway, you can just single track this for now. Put a one way yes, one way no. Why has it got arrows if it's not a one-way signal? OK. 
Okay, we don't need anything else because that's just a single track. Why a signal a single track line? To, to break... Well, what I'm trying to do is break that segment up from the rest of this. <clears throat> if you see what I mean. Because if there's a train... Let's say there's a train on this track here. Then this entire section is a single block. So I think it will then block that track going into this other platform. Which would then stop a train coming in. Or coming through there. Because that's content contested. If that makes any sense. Meep, meep. Is Doyle sitting in an armchair with feet high and sipping glorious tea? No. No, he's not. He's sat, he was sat on the poof, just looking out the window when I last saw him. <laughs> Isn't that auto break section? I'm not sure, Parax. I don't know. There's not much detail in the game about how that specifically works. Logically, I've <clears throat> logically speaking, I've just created a sector there. I don't know what it specifically does at these points. I don't think, I don't think the points do anything to the signaling. You have to put the signaling down yourself. Is how I believe it works. <clears throat> right. What's this oil called? Fort Collins oil. Let's do that. Fort Collins crude. Now at the moment, it's going to be using that platform, which is the correct one. But I'm going to change it to platform three. In the hope that I can get a train out of here to jump onto that line. That's what I believe will happen. But we'll see. Right, buy vehicles. I reckon we can get away with one of these, you know. Two million a year. How much can we make in crude? No, there isn't. The tutorial, Taradox, the tutorials in this game come in the form of a a campaign that kind of teaches you the basics, but then never teaches you the advanced stuff. There is no, like, built-in encyclopedia that explains signaling in depth. There's just none of that. Depends how you set the one-way signal on the state. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. That's not going to work, because it can't get into that one way. It can't ever get into the... Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. In that case, then, we'll put it back. And we're going to need a separate depot. Yeah, it's not going to work. I'd have to faff around a lot to get that to work. It's not worth it. do that lol <laughs> we can always use that later to jump on these lines and get vehicles onto them passenger runs um right that should be everything we need let's build the train i don't know if this is going to be able to pay for itself we have a diesel now that can do 80 125 tractive effort. Way, way, way cheaper to run. Does anybody know? Can you put... Can you put a diesel at the front and back and it doubles up on the tractive effort? Like, if you put two locomotives in, can the whole thing... It can. Right, okay. Nice. We'll do that then, because these are way cheaper. An 80 is more than fast enough for what we need. So what if we add one of them, and then we add a bunch of these tank cars. I 
That's doing a 42 on medium. Seven on medium, and then we add another. Why well, only does fifty four? <clears throat> hmm. Top speed of fifty four on a medium grade. If I remove that. It does 36 on a medium grade. Interesting. I can do almost 60. You can triple as well if you want. Blimey. <laughs> Well, I mean, the running cost of one of them is 270. So it's a half a million a year running cost. I reckon this line can bring in quite a bit. I'm just work, trying to work out how many tanks we need to move, really. They carry 12. It's not a huge amount. Yeah, exactly. That's without load. It still feels a bit slow to me. It's not going a great distance, but I don't like that speed. Because if that's empty, it's going to be doing 40, maybe, when it's fully loaded. That's not amazing. I could do 71 if you put three in, though. <laughs> uh, we could do two with fewer tanks, but then I have to double the track as well. You get more regular service, I guess. Hmm. Do we have two smaller locos, do you think? <clears throat> A good power rate is what you're looking for, yeah. Yeah. I don't think this train's going to do it, because by the time... You add one tank onto it, it's already mediocre. With just one empty tank. If you have two, it's just it's just instant mediocre. Two million a year running cost. Holy smoke. 160 kilonewtons. 125. If you add one of them. That's instant mediocrity as well. Yeah, but if we have two at the front and two at the back, that's a million a year in running costs. Look, you got four times that. It's going to cost nearly 10 million in locos and then four, a whole million a year. You might as well just like pick up one of these things for two million a year and just have it stonking there and back. <clears throat> we know what we know what that does. That's the beast. Attractive effort's not that high. 125. That is 228. 
But you can have, for the same running cost, you can have three of the uh, alcoves. Have one of them. It's good when it has three tanks on it. It's not great, is it? It's not great. I think we're just going to go with... No, I, I don't know if the MILW is going to be a fit. Like, I don't know if it's going to bring in the money. Bring in the profit, you know? I don't, I just don't know. Uh, what did you get all the money from? I was watching yesterday just when you started the Monster Oil. What happened next? I made lots of money. We'll just get one of these. It's it's black gold. Hopefully, if we can get it, if we can get that line to break even, then we'll get the profit out of this line. That's the way I look at it. So yeah, if we can get this to run even, that'll be fine. <clears throat> Wait until full. Um, uh, maybe, maybe wait until half full. If there's such a thing. Yeah. I don't think I want to do wait until full. to make sure the signaling's not broke when uh, these trains come in. More crude here means more oil here, which means more gas here. And more gas here means more gas going to Detroit, more gas going back to Independence, more gas going to Fremont. So it should all pay for itself. Even if it just breaks even, it'll be fine. 88 there now. Let's do 168. Yeah, it's going to very quickly ramp up. I don't think it'll even need to wait. I think the next run it'll be full. Because it's doing it pretty regular as well. Yeah, Club Villain, he can, he can put weight on it again today, so thankfully just a temporary problem. But yeah, Dolly seems to be okay. Seventy million and no debt. Oh yeah. Minus a million dollars. Jeez, man. What's running costs? The only slight problem we might have is 
we're bringing too much oil into this and there's not enough storage. <laughs> that could be a problem. Hopefully it'll level up soon though. But we may end up with a storage problem. No more half full train soon. Cool. All right. Well, that's doing its thing. We'll have to come back and check the profit. Right. Now, in terms of bigger projects, I guess we could set up a passenger run from Fort Collins to Independence. I've noticed that both Fort Collins and Independence both need food to grow. And there is a granary here, or at least a food processing plant here. That's very close to this. But also Fontana needs food as well. So I'm wondering, in the interest of like super big projects, there's actually a, a food processing plant all the way up here. And nearby, well, I say nearby, here, there's three grain fields. So I was wondering about bringing all that grain over to that processing plant. Yeah, I mean, there's even one up there, but I'm thinking about doing it to here rather than here. Rather than using this local food production, I was thinking about using that one. And then we bring that food past Tallahassee into Fontana. At the same time, set up a passenger run between them. So use the same line there. And then also that line can branch south, come into Independence, right? which means we can then set up food from uh, here down to Independence and also then set up passenger runs between Independence, Fontana, Tallahassee because we have all the line in place. <laughs> so the only one missing out there would be Fort Collins, which is a bit of a stretch, but we could maybe branch food that way. I don't know. It's a bit of a mad idea, but I like mad ideas. Worker guy, thank you for three months. See, it's either that or we grab the grain from here and bring it there and truck it into Fort Collins and train it back to Independence, which is fine. We can do that, but it doesn't really give us anything else. Yeah? doesn't give us a bonus whereas this gives us a bit of a, gives us bonuses because we're setting up we want to set up passenger runs from Fontana to Independence anyway so why not have that line kind of branch off that way and and deal with all the food production so you've got this like triangle going on there look that's what I'm thinking there's a lovely little triangle could extend the line from Fort Collins to those big farms north You mean from Fort Collins to these farms? To do what? To do what exactly? You mean Fort... Oh, you mean Fort Collins just get a local food supply? I mean this... Yeah, you could just truck this around. That's close enough to just truck from here to here to here. You could grow that town on its own. And with the passenger run back to Independence, I think it'll do well. How big is Independence? 500. So this is quite a small town. I don't think a, pro a, a passenger line between them might not be that profitable yet. Whereas a passenger line between Fontana and Independence would be profitable now because they're pretty big towns. So I think we put that line in first, right? Get that profitable passenger line going and then branch off to the grain and, gr and start bringing the food in. We'll get that line up first. 
Because that will make money. What, get a bus set up at what, Fort Collins? I mean, we could set up the truck. Let's do that. Let's get this town growing, then we'll go and set that line up. Let's do that. That way we'll, we'll give in this thing time to sort of start growing. Just like doing well, thanks. Right, so we've got a lot of residents, not much commerce, and a bit of industry. Oh, my game's just crashed. That's the first time it's ever done that. Rip. Well, I do hope that it also saved recently. That's a bit annoying. Uh, Dan Rolfat, thank you very much for three years, mate. Happy anniversary. And Worker Guy, thank you for three. Joak, thank you for five. Thank you so much. Saved game. Well, hang on a minute. We've got an auto save at 11.49. That's a minute ago. Let's have that, please. Can we have that crash? Yeah, that's the first time I've seen it crash. That was weird. All I did was like zoom in with a bus shelter thing. <laughs> and he went, nope. Let's see what we're up to. Oh, back here. Nice. All right, let me... Um... Do that. I'm doing fine, thank you. Okay, this is the anticlockwise. This will probably run at a bit of a loss for a while, I imagine. Yep, 
You just got a notification you live 52 minutes later. Whoa. Okay, vehicles, passenger, 35Ks, 25Ks. I don't think we'll need many yet. Let's do four buses. Okay, that's the bus service up and running. And then let's get some grain into here. So we're going to need a depot outside of that. I can't imagine we'll need both grain things. Oh, that takes two though, doesn't it? Two to one. Should we get both, do you think? I wonder if we can capture both. No, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. What year? I think I started in 1870 and I'm running it on half speed. Uh, you're welcome, Log. Glad you found it useful. Depot there, depot there, depot there. Then we just got to figure out where we want to drop stuff off in town. So for that we need... So we want the commercial sector, which is this sector here. Uh, for bringing trucks, we want to probably just create a road there so they can nip in this way. And then they want to drop off. They're going to come in this way and drop off on the right side. They need a way of looping back out that way. Maybe just need to join that road. Stop off point. Cargo unload. I reckon that commercial sector is probably going to branch. Hmm. The trucks that will be on the grain delivery. What? Wouldn't it be better to make a bypass so trucks don't have to go through the town? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that as well. I don't want... Well, they can use this road to be far. They won't need to go through the town. I'm more worried about which way this is going to expand when it gets bigger. So that we're dropping off efficiently. Let's try that for now. Okay. 
Okay. Fort Collins food, commit that. Uh, can you dictate which way to expand by adding roads? You can kind of, yeah, you can add roads and it'll take it into account, I guess. I don't exactly know how it does it. Well, ideally, you'd want to smash a road through there, I think. But it'll cost us money to uh, delete that. It deleted one of the bus stations. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen it do that. What an absolute scumbag. What? Is it saying that it's just too close? For that game. Okay, it appears to be working again. So when you put the bus stop down here, with the truck stop here, it was too close, so it destroyed the bus stop. That's insane. Oh well, just learned something. I forgot what I was going to do now. <laughs> oh yeah, create these lines. Uh, let's see. Port Collins, Howells and Branch. Local town planners are not happy with me right now. What, you don't approve of that deletion sound? <laughs> That's one of my mods years ago when we were playing um, uh, Seven Days to Die, I think it was. And a load of zombies jumped him and he went, Wee! <laughs> and we snapped the sound bite and put it in the game as delete sound. <laughs> Right, that's that set up. We just to get some trucks going and get this operation on the road, don't we? Uh, we can might build another depot over here. Can't 
Chicago. Let's see. 60 kilometers. That was grain, but not food. That costs 18,000 a year to run just 40Ks. That's twice as much as 60Ks, blimey. But we're going to need this for the long runs. Well, Pike, thank you. Had a name change, have we? <laughs> I don't know how many we're going to need in total to deliver the food. It's a two to one ratio, though, isn't it? That's going to take some time to get going. Probably should tell these boys to wait till full. Fort Collins branch. not really worth setting out otherwise. Okay. That should now do its thing. <clears throat> These buses are costing a fortune. <laughs> Which you kind of expect, but we're doing it to get the city growth. Destinations has improved a little bit. Ooh, emissions are bad. Why is emissions so bad? Rip. Stinky trucks. Oh. Okay, we'll leave that doing its thing. How's this line getting on? That's not bad. It's not quite full. It's going to completely unload. That is not shipping everything. What's going to happen with this guy then? Hmm. I thought there would be more oil there by now. Everything it's producing is being moved now. Well, welcome, Ronan. Thanks for joining my cool and funny stream. AJ War.
Right, we've just passed a hundred million dollars, and as I said, it went back to ninety-nine. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Um, let's get this fast passenger line going. The main consideration here is going to be: Do we utilize this station, which is already set up for passengers, and just expand it, or do we go for a different passenger station? I can see a massive tunnel. That's going to be an expensive tunnel. That is going through there in that way and then we've got the stupid chemical plant it's going to ruin our day there's no easy road from independence to fontana you've been mostly following on score plus noise if that wasn't there that would be quite an easy run along that coast to fontana that's the way i want to go so that we can we can branch that way later but that makes it a real pain because now we're probably gonna have to tunnel right through there or we come this side of it and bridge over here we're never going to want to use the water so we could just bridge yeah i think we'll go bridge just so we can play around with those new bridge styles let's <laughs> see what they look like so there's going to be a tunnel coming through here. So how do we get into here? We might have to rejig some lines. Because we're going to need... Mm, yeah, we're going to have to play around with this. Because we kind of want... Hmm. Passenger trains are stopping here. We want passenger trains coming in from there. And we want an outside cargo platform. This is going to be a pain. Uh, just pop back as I saw the stream is up, but the video and audio is not loading. Any ideas? Other streams are working okay. Well, I can't help you, Tradari, because you can't hear me or see me. So, chat, you need to help Tradari. Yeah, we can upgrade the station, but the problem is we're going to have to sort of really mess around here. Um, because we want we want to keep the inside track. These two passenger um, platforms here, these are going to be the ones that go off to Fremont. Then we're going to need another two uh, for this loop here. And then I might put another two in just as a pass-through. Or I might do a pass-through and then that. Probably do a pass-through and then that. So we'll have two passenger platforms, two pass-through tracks another set of passenger platforms and then a cargo but the problem is we're going to have to pause it while we do it otherwise it will completely break the lines so I'm going to pause it I'm going to save it and then we're going to break it Okay, we want to get rid of this. You love that sound and you know it. There's our pass through line. Then we want passenger platform. Then cargo platform. Okay. Now I've got to convince this track to go right to the edge.
quite the station this one yeah it's going to be a bit of a central station isn't it so these two uh need to reroute and go through here now they need to use this set of passenger lines they're going to completely move over so yeah we're gonna to have to curl this Nobody can do that sound like Snugs. <laughs> okay, I should do it. Let's make sure we get the correct platform. So that's the inner passenger track. Chicago drop off. There's two spare lines and then the passenger lines which are going to go off that way. I think apart from signaling that's done. it done to the lines probably completely broken them right do you think it's going to work it out when i unpause this or do you think it's i'm gonna to have to redo it all if i unpause this is it going to work it out do you reckon uh boeing thank you for 17 Ah, you're welcome. Kai Brooks, thank you for seven months. Right, Arsenal, bullseye. Thank you, guys. Check if you have any platform allocations. Yeah, I don't think we do. Okay, we're going to have to rejig this, aren't we? Um, okay. Could not connect to all stations, it says. Try to fix the problem automatically. Failed. <laughs> Once it goes to previous location, the waypoint's not the platforms. Okay, so where's this come from? Three months. Newark. something wrong with the track maybe what the heck is it trying to do independence start off at independence go to newark Go to Newark, then go to Fremont, then come back to Independence. So it should be doing. I 
Okay, that's that one fixed. That should be an unload of gas, I think. So you don't load anything. That should be a gas unload, that one, I think. Uh, Max, no worries. Enjoy. Right, is there anything else broken? Fremont and Dependent Passages. Yeah, this train's confused for some reason. I don't know why it's confused exactly. I think it just got stuck at the platform. Unfortunately, it's going to run empty, but I think that should sort it. Nothing on board. That's a bit strange. Is it a graphically intensive game? Um, I wouldn't say it's intensive. It can be CPU demanding as well. Uh, I think that's fixed. I'm just going to keep my eye on it for a second. Cruiser boy, I don't know. I didn't keep update up to date on the updates. What if we start trucking that oil to here? It does bug me a little bit when you've told it to unload only it stops even though it's got nothing on board <laughs> right so by the time it gets there there's 150 crude This to upgrade, but it's not being shipped quickly enough. It's like we need another train on the circuit. To do that, we'd have to start. Yeah, I think what we do is truck this crew to there and then add another train onto that circuit. 
I think that might uh, sort things out a bit. Can make the train longer. If I make the train longer, it'll run slower. That's the downside. <laughs> 